Hello, it's Claire here and I am thrilled to be with you today and um, this is the beginning of my uh, series of 10 blogs and they're going to be video blogs but they'll also be uh, written blogs so if you want to check out the written blogs they're on the busybeehives.com go and check them out but but now this is a video and I thought it would be just quite cool just to do a quick video because you get to know me a little bit better than you know right read it reading me it's not always quite the same so Today, um, what the, the, the series is all about, it's really about um, helping you to perhaps um, find a, a new life change. And um, the, the uh, eight years ago, nine years ago, um, I set up my own business and um, I just wanted to now help you to po po probably look at the way you could be starting your own business by franchising, yes. I'm saying franchising because it's what I've done to my business and I perhaps will talk a little bit or refer to my own franchise but this is not just about my franchise it's about how you could become the owner of your own franchise business and how this could help you to really um, do what you want you know and work with who you want and you know really just be a bit liberated from working from for somebody else so I, I always refer to the bees and you know I love the bees and they because they've got an incredible ethical conduct they have clear standards that regulate their behavior they keep their mission on track um, they've got shared values you know every bees have got the same mission and they're all you know doing that for the whole good of the beehive and when you run a business that's what it's all about it's about bringing everybody together into one place and working together towards you know a successful business um, and I don't know if you've ever seen um, the, the film called sliding doors and I love this film if you haven't watched it go and watch it it's really super um, and the sliding doors it's all about that split second you know you're taking a decision one minute and it's whether this decision is going to take you one path or the other um, and I you know that crossroad kind of things and I remember my crossroads so clearly um, and you know I was working silly hours in the hotels um, I had the children at home with an au pair um, I, you know I was trying to fit it all in um, trying to be a mom and trying to cook and trying to be at work and it never you know it was just exhausting I, I was exhausted all the time you know I never had any energy to be with the children or do anything with them and then one day I thought no no this can't be it you know there, there is no way I can carry on that way I cannot do uh, any more uh, of that life must be better than that I must find another way to do things and that was my crossroad and you know at that time um, it took a bit of time to really realize where I was going and what I was doing um, but that's why you know I think when you're looking at starting up maybe a business a franchise opportunity is a fabulous way to actually be able to um, do something that you're passionate work with without having all the hurdle that you have when you really set up your business from scratch with nothing um, and then you know you you kind of following some guidelines you kind of following somebody who's already done it and you know who's done it successfully and that's the beauty of really uh, being a franchise but it really is about evaluating yourself and this this blog number one it's all about reevaluating and taking the time to pose yourself and really understand where you're going what you're doing what do you want in life you know do you, have you had enough to work for somebody else? Do you have um, lots of expertise and you feel that you're not be using it at work? Do you feel demotivated or you just get up every morning thinking, oh, is it Saturday yet? Hating every minute of being at work. You can't be like that. I'm promising you there is more to life than that. Yes, if you hate what you do, if you just cannot feel that you know you're having a balance between work and your family and you're not finding the harmony in your life you need to stop you need to do something else and you need to look at other options and that's what I'd like you to think about you know and so take that time for yourself take that time to actually look at what is it exactly that you want what hours do you want to work what expertise can you bring into the business where do you want to live? Where do you want to run your business? Do you want to work from home? 
Do you want to work from an office? Do you want to work from the city where you live or you, the, the area where you live? Or do you want to be traveling around and doing lots of different uh, jet setting, you know, across the world? Do you want to, do you have the support of your family? Uh, you know, this is really important because whether you start up your own business or a franchise business, you will still be starting up a business you know and it can be quite scary but on the same time you know having it done by somebody else who's done it before and is there to support you um the franchiser that's what they do you know and that's the beauty of really looking at the franchise and the franchise opportunities around and it's because you're working with that support from the franchisor but also with other franchises within the community that gives you that kind of real b feeling community feeling where everybody works for the same vision and the same mission and you know you're all kind of doing the same thing for the good of the beehive so you know if you're looking at you know a change if it's time for you to really think about what do i want in life do I want to carry on? Am I miserable? Am I negative about everything? Do I, do, is your aura, do you come with that kind of negativity every time you walk somewhere in your office and you're just, you feel it inside that you really don't want to do? Perhaps it's time to do something about it. So my blog one and my step one, wherever you are, if you're in that situation and you really, really need to change, take that time to evaluate where you are now evaluate your vision where would you like to be in the future and how you're going to get there what are the steps that you know you could be doing to actually get there so that's it that's my step one reevaluate yourself i look forward to seeing you in block two which will be oh i can't tell you it'll be a surprise you'll just have to check it out later <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to check more blogs or anything else about the busy queen bee go on the busy queen or check me out or follow me on facebook twitter instagram all in there you know there's loads of things that you could be doing uh, or you can join me on the facebook group business harmony and on paramount the hive check it out come and follow me in there i would love to see you bye for now